Hi guys, in this lecture we will see how we can use the list widget or how we can design a list in our system. So let's have a look what is list and about what I am talking. So this is the bootstrap and this is the list in HTML. If we have to design something like this, we generally use the uh, UL and LI. Uh, UL generally UL uh, tag and under UL we just define the list items that we'll call LI tag. UL is unordered list and also we use OL that is called ordered list. So if we have to do the same thing, how we can do? Let's see. This is out systems. Again, uh, as we have seen, table works on a list that uh, so uh, table works on a list we will require to provide a list as a source if we want to design the table similarly if we want to use the list widget we will require a list source right a list type of variable to give as a source so in this example as well we will fetch the user information data from the user entity and we will provide that uh, variable to this source of list so let me just fetch the user how we can fetch we can just right click to the um, screen and fetch data from data sources we can just select user and it will fetch the list for us by default the maximum record will be 50 if we want to just increase that we can now if if i will drag and drop it will automatically by default add the table widget so I will not drag and drop this time. This time I will use the list widget. So let me drag and drop the list. Now, if I will drag and drop this get user in the list, it will use the list widget. Now it will not uh, override it and use the table widget, right? So let me drag and drop it here. So automatically it will design. So let me just drag and drop again. You see, automatically it has designed and used all the attributes whatever is present in the in this table uh, as an object right if we want to show everything we can show if we want to remove something we can remove list is not formatted by default it just show the data in a raw format if we want to design the list we can design it we can just make it bold we can just uh, make uh, just put username just uh, after the name right we can design in any way as per our requirement so I'm not going um, deep inside the designing of list part. I was just showing you how we can use that. Let me show you the properties of list. If we click here, go to widget tree. If I click on list, you will see the property source. Source will be a list type of variable. Animated, yes. So that uh, when the list will be rendered and populated, it will be it will show uh, to user in animated form. Mode default and custom if you just say custom so mm, i don't know what it is let me just check it set to custom to define a custom html tag to be used by the widget in runtime default mode set as div. yes so in default mode uh, it, it it just use the division tag you see in bootstrap it is using the ul tag but out systems use the division tag in the default mode if we want to use any other tag maybe ul so we can use ul if we want to use ol we can use ol as well right so on error in widget list ol is not uh, acceptable i believe so we can use ul or division my god diff and uh, I guess let me just make it default. I I believe it will work. Uh, let me check. We can check it, right? We can use UL, and we can just publish and see how it behaves on the UI. So if we just expand this, we'll we'll see the list item inside list item. We have the left action available. If we want to show something in the left action side, if you don't show in, don't put anything here, it will not show nothing. Under the content, we can show content. Under the right action, we can just uh, uh, provide a right action, the swipe action, right? So that's it. Nothing much about the list. In general, we use table. 
okay we can see the list right uh, but it is the in unordered format right Unor it is unordered list so that's it that's it for the list it was pretty much simple and uh, i will give you some some examples and some exercises uh, um uh, in 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 future lectures so that in that exercises you will require list to use so it will give you a better understanding at that time thanks for watching this video guys